Why, you okay there? B4. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they... Want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there just... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy's Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there, too, willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. It's been a while, girl. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Gia! Yeah, so, a boat's probably a good idea. Try for a boat or okay. not? Good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. 
You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Well, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. That'll do. Come on. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and in the more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here is not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Walk it from here. Good evening. These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. 
Okay. Yeah. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. See that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Why do I always gotta do the carrying? Because I do the skinning. Well, how how'd I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? You're a son of a beast. Good job. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Let's go on. See what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. Watch, you deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly. Let's move, come on.
Seymour? Not for now! Come on! Let's get that poor girl out of the cage! We ain't gonna hurt you. Stay away from me. Just calm down. Don't touch me. Go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. This place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> Mrs. Dowd? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! 
Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? You know, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? Ah. She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You... Damn! <sighs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour face, old crow. God damn you. Mur She's in a bad way. She don't know what she's saying. This is hitting everyone hard, in different ways. I don't know. So you think... You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Mike... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot.
Take it easy. Yeah. Yes, Uncle. Hi there. Abigail. Well, here we are. I can't believe that bitch ratted on us. If she was even telling the truth, the girl was crazy. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Whatever you say. I can't feel the leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. Some scrap or, or something. Oh, oh, Mister, you. I thought I was gonna be. Oh, go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you. You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh.
there, girl. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. 
Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that do you? Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And You'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well... Now, yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Yeah. So, 
What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope uh. and hope for the best. Ah. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bull. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. splendidly. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this. With a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Whoa, there. No need to go any higher.
We're too high, sir. The air isn't moving. Are you listening, sir? We need to be lower. Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. You might want to go a little higher there, sir. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Pollard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Admiral. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Best try another spot. I can't believe we're doing this. Hmm. That could be him. In the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased! Try and get us near. 
Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscoll.
you soon enough! Looks like we made it. That'll show them. The hell is wrong with you? I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. You all right, girl? Sadie, I really can't. I must. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sore? But. I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we what to do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <clears throat> okay, bring us over. We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low.
Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Stay down! Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. 
Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Don't take a history. Let's clear me the single Fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off. I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't... ...seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... ...like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? 
How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh... I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome, you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Thinking of, uh, I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. <laughs> 